Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. We are here on the Geek Tech Industry server. Uh, this is episode 20 something, 23, I think. Anyway, last episode, you guys saw me do some work on the large structures up at the top of the castle, uh, working on the, the roof, trying to get all that sorted out. Uh, let's go up and, and take a look, see what I've done so far. Um, I think the easiest and quickest way will be just jump in my SV and fly up there. And we've got some time on the clock for us to actually view this in daylight. And yeah, let's turn my jetpack off because that always works better. And we'll just get in here and jump in here and I go through my ritual go like this go oops go like this turn that on open my hatch get all jiggy jiggy get ejected out move back over here and sit down okay oh and slam into my mezzanine <laughs> yes yes I know I know you're you're a powerful sports car of a SV okay Okay, so let's fly up there, or, you know, catch the edge of the hangar bay. Let's fly up there. We'll just go over here and take a quick peek at what it looks like. And we pan around. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we're too far away to actually see the digging. There, now it's exposing. Now you'll notice I've been working on the top structures there. I've got my floating citadel started. Um, I don't know if I'm happy with it yet. I've got the spiraling dirt going up the spire. With that, I like that texture. I think that's going to work. The blue glows at night, and so I got to. What I what I want to do is finish spotting out this dirt, so it's just kind of like particles going up, and then and then you know die from crashing my SV, and then let's just get up here, level off a bit here. So what I've done is I've, I've snaked the dirt around it so that I can, I can knock it down and have little particles of it. So I want these little particles traveling up the spire um, and then this will get all dug out. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you the structural integrity just so you know that it's actually pretty structurally sound until we get to the very top where I did some um, stuff to it. So it looks kind of funky right now. Keep in mind that's not what it's going to look like. I want this to taper down in a cone underneath uh, with that blue texture under it. And then reaching up to it will be a glass spire. Um, with a large, most of that whole area down there, all over here, is going to be all covered in a glass structure, which is going to have a peaked area right here coming up, and they're just going to meet in a teardrop, sort of, with just with a gap between the uh, elevators. So it should be freestanding, free floating. You won't see any of this dirt after that's all done. It'll just be particles and I'm gonna have blue flares mixed in with it to, to try and accent it. Uh, but I don't think we wanna work on that today. So what I found was, yeah, I gotta texture all that. It's just concrete, concrete and glass right now. I know it kinda doesn't fit in yet, but just, we got to give it a chance. Now you'll see the rest of this. I finished putting the um, 
the roof on. I had to change it up because it was, I didn't like how the patios were and it was a little, the other one that I built was a little too close to the end. It didn't line up with all the, the stuff on the inside. So I've got this all, I gotta finish texturing that. So I've got the patios built. I've got all the doors built. Um, I still got tons of texturing and painting to do inside and all the detail work has to be done. The walls, the interior walls have to be done. This structure here, the great hall, so to speak, has to be, it, it's completely empty right now. It's just a big nothing inside. So that needs tons of work. Uh, so today, what, what I realized, I came down to put my, um, my wet generators down in water here, and I ran into a whole bunch of problems while I was doing it. For starters, there was a ridiculous hailstorm that was like killing me really severely. Uh, I had to like jump out of my HV, place one, put stuff in, jump back in, and then use like a med pack. It was, it was ridiculous. It was like heavy hail and it was just wow. And then, and then while I was doing that, of course I get attacked by a, a scorpion dude, one of those blue, I don't see anyone, any around right now, that's fine. Uh, I also put markers out to mark the boundary of my base. Oh, there's a blue asshole right here. You know what, you know what? You gave me some problems earlier. You need to just die. <sighs> okay, so I think today we need to work on this area here. I, I actually wanna get my wet generator room is my next focus. I'm gonna leave all the rest of it. That's all fluff really up there. I mean, I got a functional base now. I got my mechanical room going. I got my, my medical bay. I've got food. I've got all the con construction stuff. I've got, a, the bulk of it's all sealed in now. So most of the time when I'm moving around, it's all sealed. So I wanna get this done. What I plan on doing is, is, completely seal this in with like a um, an entry uh, concrete tunnel coming out and there'll be two of my towers on either side with another uh, bay door at the exit so that'll actually cap that off but that's not going to finish off out here what's going to happen is I'm going to build this platform out more uh, we're gonna do like just a tiny little thin wall, a short little thin wall, kind of, kind of covering this general area, um, and that should keep the predators at bay at least. And then I want to extend a hallway out from my tower area to come over and build a little generator room here and seal that in. So I could technically, um, you know, be all sealed in, jump into my, and I, I should be able to be 100% sealed from my generator room all the way to anywhere else in my base at this point, uh, once I get that done. So let's do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna actually set this down here. I don't need to go anywhere. So we'll turn this off. Let's jump out. Uh, now what I can do is to keep myself safe from critters at this point. And if the temperature gets a little too extreme, I can turn it on and stay warm. But for now, um, let's drone it up. No, okay, let's drone it up. No, drone it up, drone it up, drone it up, drone it up. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Just gotta be a part of, so that there's no blocking behind you. I guess near the back of your head or something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly 
Uh, so let's... Ooh, this is way down here. We might have to fly down here a bit. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Um, turn this on. And then, you know, we won't go through... Oh, I guess we will go through the ritual because... Come on. Can I, I'm not trying to drill it. Okay, just get in. Fly like an eagle. Oh, what the hell, we'll just park inside, since we're going to be doing work down here. You can see um, I got my uh, my wind digger there parked, but first my HVs that got a special parking spot down here. Might even park some other stuff. I mean, this is, this is all big enough to park SVs too, uh, of this size or smaller, really. Uh, but anyway, let's get this done. We got work to do. So we'll just, uh, just land right here and jump out, jump out. I'm just going to jump right out. Now you'll notice that the temperature won't start dropping until I'm actually completely out of that block so let's go back until it drops and we'll see there it goes so I'm out of that block now if I step into that block where the door is see I'm okay right there so technically if this was in outer space I could like take off my um, helmet even if I was standing here and if, if it was oxygenated if you saw the O2 symbol down there Grab some veggies. Okay. Let's get some work done. Pop our drone out. So what I need to do is extend this all the way down. So all the way down, I'm going to extend it. I'm just going to do the actual width of the hangar because, I mean, realistically... <laughs> I don't need it any bigger than that. Why would I need any bigger than that? There's, yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's get some blocks down. We're just gonna get these up here. Should go right to there and we'll pull that down. And max blocks count, okay. And dig this out. I've had to repair my I had to repair my uh, my drill a few times now. Let's see if we go into it, I've number of repair six. Holy crap! I've repaired it six times. It doesn't repair very well anymore. <laughs> it wears out really fast. I'll probably have to make a brand new. Or I think I have a new one somewhere. I can just throw this one away when it's I can't repair it anymore. But since I'm always standing on my base, it's like no big deal to just, you know, it breaks and I just, oh, I don't need to uh, uncover that much. Let's get some more blocks in. Where, come on. It's hard to see now because it's all too much dirt. Okay, we're going to have to dig this out. So, hopefully, I'll have this all done. We won't get it done today, obviously. There's just too much. There's too much heavy work to do. As you can see, I'm going to have a whole bunch of digging out the corners and stuff. Um, and it's stuff that my HV can't get to, unfortunately. At least it's unlikely. I mean, as nimble as it is for such a big thing. Okay, let's get that stretched across here. And then we need that. Is that solid? Yep. Okay. Let's get that up. Come on. Over. 
So we've got the start of our tunnel coming out. Okay. Let's get the corners. The corners are the critical work whenever you're doing any sort of um, buildings that you need to maintain the structural integrity. And I'm not going to need to worry about it, uh, but it's a good practice anyway, because later on down the road, let's say you're expanding your base and you realize that what you did be before was just all loose and goosey just to get some, just to get it sealed or something. Now you got to dig it all up and smash the blocks out to actually um, get it properly, uh, a proper foundation or something. So I just tend to do it right the first time. And I don't have to piss around by digging it up again. And what I mean by right is this corner piece. This is a critical piece to building a building. Get that corner piece in there and only dig it out just barely enough to get the corner piece in. You don't need to over dig. You don't need to expose the entire concrete block. Okay, get this corner piece in. Oops. And oh. So I missed that one. Oh no, there it is. It just it was blending into the rock. Okay, there we go. So get that down there. And then I can get that one on there wall going let's go in so thank god these t2 drills um, actually move earth pretty fast with the uh, with the remove terrain feature I mean, not not as good not as good as my six laser hv but my six laser HG also collects all the stone, which I don't need anymore because that just digging this tunnel out was probably enough to build the entire castle. Kind of crazy. This all knocked down. Oh, there's so much work. This 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 project just went way beyond its initial scope of being a repository for a couple of cargo boxes. Okay, so let's let's get some more blocks in here. We can Pull that across, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make sure. Get that in. Whoop, 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 whoop. I didn't want that. Come on. Okay. And then we'll just. I'm going to go into uh, night vision here. It's going to be a little easier to see. Oof, not out that way. Okay, so again, critical. Always the corner pieces are very critical, even though that you're never going to see them. Um, for structural integrity purposes, they help a lot. So get, those, get the corner pieces in properly. Okay. Put that in. What I should be doing is pulling this across if I can. Probably not. Oh, it looked like it might have. And then pull that across. Stop it. Pull that across. That across. Okay. Now we can fill this in. 
Now I'm not sure if that actually connected right across properly. Which it does not look like it did. Okay. So get that in there. Come on. Okay, get in there. No, slowly. Huh? We're making progress. We're making progress. We're making progress. Whoa. Come on. Don't connect to me. Do the... There we go. Thank you. Is that it? That's all you're going to go? Okay. Well, that's okay. It's okay. And way too far. Let's pop that off. There we go. Okay. Now we need to get... These in. Yep, you go. There you go. Bring that across. Okay, let's just drag that as far as we can. Because that is our corner, that is our bottom corner piece. So let's. Get a wall up, and oh, come on up. One, nope, too far. One, two, and ah, ran out of concrete. So I got, uh, I got nine. <clears throat> okay, let's grab some more. Yeah, we got a bunch of the blocks here, and I can spin up a billion more if I want. Yes, a billion. I literally have a cargo box full of crushed stone right now. A large cargo box just full of crushed stone. Full. And I'm not exaggerating. Okay, so let's get this in. Come on. There we go. And ah, it didn't drag. That's a drag. Come on. Oh, that's because it was only nine blocks. Derp a derp. What, what am I doing singles at a time? Let's oof. fly down. Get that. And get that across. Get some more across. So we're just going to keep continuing on with this. You know, it's kind of boring, guys, but it's 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 part of the game, really. I mean, if if you don't want to if if you don't want to build in the game, then you don't have to, but you miss out on a huge portion of the game, in my opinion. I actually find this kind of relaxing and um, I don't know I guess it's like it's like anyone that does like hobby crafting of some sort you know maybe woodworking or or doing like hobby any sort of hobby sort of construction crafting sort of thing uh, there's a lot of satisfaction while you're doing it, and then and then the pride of having a finished product afterward is pretty good too. So it's different when you just spawn in stuff. It's not the same feel. It's it's definitely not the same feel. Get this connected. Get that corner exposed so that I can get a block in there.
come on. I can see you just, there we go. Excellent, okay, we're getting there. Drag that over, come on. Put some more up here. So we're slowly getting there. Unfortunately, this is really tedious work. Really, really tedious work. <laughs> okay, so get this up. Oh, this is going to take me forever. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for off camera. I'm going to dig all that out and then just throw up the walls really quick, I think. Because right now, uh, you're just going to sit there and watch me dig if I do that. Okay. Let's turn the night vision off. Oof, it's dark out. It be dark out. Hmm. Should I... Should I go texture the... Yeah, let's fly up there. Sorry, I didn't really have an action plan for this episode. I'm <laughs> just kind of winging it. what we should do is should we sort out my living quarters and deco that up yeah let's do that let's do that okay so I can't see so I'm gonna level me off I'm gonna hit my alt so that I can oof I gotta go into night sight and now I can look straight down and land on my roof. Now where is my hatch? Right in the dead center, isn't it? God, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I didn't think that through. I did, it's just... Hmm. How the hell am I going to get... Let's... If I... What if I... Huh? Because I can move over quite a bit. There's my hatch. There's my hatch. Oh, I'm okay. Actually, this... If it didn't fly like an idiot... Okay, let's level off. And then, if I straighten out... I'm going to have to make... I'm going to have to mark a hanger, a, a landing pad for this. So let's... There we go. This is our our goal right now. Let's straighten out. Get that perfectly straight. That looks pretty good. And then go back into here. We're going to shift over a little. We're going to move back. We're going to move over. And then we're going to land, right? Yeah, there we go. I don't necessarily need to mark that, I guess. Uh, what I could do is cordon, quarter it all off using the door as the center. So let's... Should I leave my lights on or off? Probably off, right? Yeah. So I'll leave it turned on. Let's jump out. And do I need to keep it running? Probably not. Let's let's shut her down. Let's shut her down. 
Okay, I gotta be really gentle jumping out of there. What's the view like from up here? Whoa. Look at that view, guys. Amazing. Look down there. Whew. Let me pop my drone out and just give us a total tummy buzz going over the edge. Oh my god. Woo! That's some height. Oh, that is that. Makes my legs feel like they're coming out from underneath me. That is just trippy. And this is at night. How long do we got before? We still got seven hours, 45 minutes game time, which is about 10 minutes or so. Hmm. Hmm. It's looking pretty ugly. Okay, so so now that we're actually looking at it, let's do something about this. Uh, do I want to apply that to the whole block? Yes, let's do that right now for the for the common one. We'll get this texture on here. Just everything gets this texture. I don't care. Although the wood floor, I'm going to retexture everything internally anyway. I just want all the exposed stuff to be the uh, crushed stone or um, that's not crushed stone, fitted stone, I guess. I, I, I'm not quite sure what you'd call it. So it's a multi-story living quarter. So I want like a, a kitchen area, a living room, a bedroom, um, and then maybe a, a, a bathroom, right? So four, I think it's four levels. I think I made it four levels. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Looks kind of like a high rise. Oh, that gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> this thing's so high in the sky. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Getting there. Come on, son. Come on out. Uh, I think on the top, so I'm just going to worry about this stuff here right now in the corners because the top I'm going to do the tarmac thing because I really like that it stands out with all the symbols that you can put on it and when you when you paint it black it really um, the symbols really stand out and it looks it looks cool it looks like it's supposed to okay I might have to go park my SV downstairs get it off here while I paint it. I can always do that later. Okay, let's continue. Let's get the outside. Stop it. Let's get the outside done. Because then once the outside's done, I can go on to the inside and just do the surface of the block that I'm looking at to paint and texture. That way it doesn't actually um, screw up any any of the other blocks that have a, have a different texture on one of the different faces of it. So let's get this going. And it's snowing. Now, for some reason, I am protected right now. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, because I'm standing on the edge. 
where I'm in actually a sealed airtight block, technically. Uh, that is a way to actually protect yourself. If you're out in the elements and you don't have a sealed room, put up just a stupid little half wall and stand beside it on the on the block that it's that it's uh, on top of, and you'll actually be protected. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, it's one of those things because it's an airtight block. So so the whole the whole block is airtight, including the portion that you're standing in. Okay. Let's get this done. Getting there. Getting there. This 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 is actually looking more and more like a castle every day now, eh? Got some work there, but I want to get this glass structure in before I poke more doors in and stuff. Oh, oof. Oof. That just gave me the heebie-jeebies, and that does too with me. St I, I, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I gotta go down. I gotta, I gotta go inside. Sorry, I just my own bedroom giving me the heebie-jeebies. Well, that's not good. Just imagine what the women would think. Okay, get this painted up. Nice freaking meteorites trying to hit my base. I've already had one come in contact with my outer wall. That wall right there, back there, it came and it was it was actually touching it, embedded into it a little bit. And I think it's because the center of the meteorite was actually technically not within three. It was like it would have been about 302, 303 meters away from, from my core. And I think that's why a meteorite, as long as it's more than 300 meters from your core, it can land there. And, and the larger the meteorite, the larger it is in diameter. So it has more potential to actually infringe upon somebody's uh, base border so to speak. Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, I think we can get everything else from the inside. That'll be dug out later. And like I say, this will come down in like a cone in a V uh, with that blue funky texturing that we have down here. I'll turn, see that it glows. With that, with that texture, <sighs> I'm gonna stop doing that to myself. <laughs> it freak, because I know I'm so high up in the air. I'm so used to like running after my drone goes poof, and then running off the edge of a building and almost dying. I've done that a few times now. So let's um, let's just go down into the first room here. Uh, the top room. I guess we want the top room as the living room or not? No, no, we want the top room as my bedroom. Let's get some lights up. Uh, this still isn't sealed. So how am I going to seal it? Now I could seal each floor individually. And then, yeah, let's try that. Let's, let's go like this. We're gonna knock this out and we'll just put a door right there, right? We'll put a door. I want the, that one for the inside sealed doors. So that's the ones I've been using over on the other parts of the structure and that down and boom and we should now be sealed yes we are see there we go our temperature 22 degrees okay so now we should be okay to jump up and get inside yep okay so there we go uh, what about if we have our jetpack off can we still get up there 
Oh, almost. Okay, well that's good. Actually, you know what? That's really good because so we we're we're coming up. We go like this and we land. We stop. So we stop at each floor unless we have a jetpack on. Okay. Okay. I like that. Let's get some lights up. Get my drone going. Okay, so lights in here. This is going to be tricky. I think I want to do them in the corner up top. So we're going to go with this theme here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to need more than that, though. So let's do let's do above the very center because we've got one, two, three, four, five panes. So we'll go right there. And there. And there. And there. OK, I think that's a good enough lighting for my bedroom. Uh, let's get all this texture and painted. So I want to go with carpeting up here. Let's take a look at what we got here. Carpeting. So we've got we've got these different ones here. Let's see. We'll we'll put a tile down on each of each type and we'll compare them. Now I've been using this one here a lot downstairs, so I might go with that because it looks really carpety. Uh, I've been actually using this one as a ceiling one for concrete ceilings. Let's paint this and see what we've got. So we're going to go with our gray. Oh, that looked really good gray. Oh, that came out nice too, didn't it? But that looks more like linoleum, right? That looks like a lino. Oh, that looks like carpet. That look at look at that pattern. Is that birds? That's a very wind-ish sort of thing to have, isn't it? Let's check out some other colors we can do. Let's try. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what it was. No, that's what it was. The default. Woof. Hard to look at. Hard to look at. Uh, that's not bad. It's a little dark, though. It looks all dirty, too. I'm not jiving that color. And no, not bad, not bad. White. The gray. That's winning so far. No, you lose all the highlighting, right? See, we can see all the, the, the actual, we can see the shading with this color, with the standard gray that I've been going with, with everything. So, you know, I think we found our, I think that's it. I, I like it. I like it. So that was, that was this. Oh, shit. Not apply a whole black. Blah. I gotta fix that outside. <laughs> uh, 
I gotta fix the ones that I've been that's okay when we get downstairs we can touch up the ceiling and there's only one block to touch up outside it's okay it's okay So, once this is done, we'll probably call the episode, and then I'll work on it off camera. Let's take a look at how this is. And that was the off-white, light gray that we've been going with the whole time. I like it. It's tying in. We that Same with the windows. They get the same paint, so that's easy enough to do at the same time. And that all ties together. Well, it looks so much better with the gray, doesn't it? You can actually see the... You can see the pattern. Yeah, that's really awesome. Okay. So this is the carpet I will be using throughout. Um, I'll probably go with linoleum up in the bathroom or no, let's, we'll do a real nice tile, a gray tile of some sort, probably in the uh, kitchen too. Or, I could do like, nah, I think we, yeah. Okay. That's looking pretty good, eh? Let's get this painted. Uh, and I think we're gonna go with that other, the, the ceiling texture that I was talking about. I think we're gonna get rid of the wood look all together in here. Um, I can think about retexturing that too. But, let me get this painted. Get all this painted. Okay. Uh, let's texture up the ceiling. So I think I do want to go with this because it's, it looks like ceiling texture in a nice, in a nice hotel or something or in like a palace or castle. <laughs> so yeah, doesn't it? I think it does. I like it. It's. I don't want my, the spire to look so rustic, to tell you the truth. Um, I like it. There we go. And then, so do we leave the default white? It kind of washes out with the lights. I think I'll do it in gray. Let me just get it all up there. Okay, and then let's gray it up. Yeah, right away it loses that a little bit of the flare from the light. The glare kind of dies off. See that? It's, it softens up that. It softens up that feature.
Huh. God, I really like the look of the carpet. I think that turned out awesome. That special carpet, that's only going in my living quarters, though. That'll go down in the living room. It'll go up in my bedroom here. And for the bathroom and kitchen, we'll do some, some oh, I grade that. That's okay. You know what? I should probably paint those anyway. I've been missing the lights, actually, as I put them up. I haven't really been painting them, but their default color is almost is almost what the color I'm painting everything anyway, so it's it's not that noticeable. That, that's painted, that's painted now, that's painted now. Okay, okay. It's looking actually pretty nice in here, eh? Uh, let's think of something for the wall texture. I don't want that, I want, I don't want any of the metal textures. And that's kind of a rubbery looking texture, but anyway. Uh, I don't want to do marble. That's really... I mean, this is the one, this is what I was going to do on the floor downstairs downstairs sorry excuse me now now I got the hiccups see it makes a nice a beautiful tile doesn't it well that's a nice floor tile it's it's good for a bathroom or kitchen I guess and on the floor but not not a not a bedroom wall uh no let's change this uh. okay, like a paisley wallpaper or a flower wallpaper let's see let's see Is it a little too busy with all the patterns? Should these just be white? Like, like gyp rock? Let's see. Or gray, our gray theme, yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. It's not so... It's not so harsh. It's softer. That definitely works for the wall in here okay let's do that let's um have i good it's not a being applied to the whole block thank god and not applied to the whole block good let's get this textured up so you can see how much work there is to just doing one room in this place right like Right now, obviously, I'm trying to figure out color scheme and textures and stuff like that. So it takes a lot longer because I'm, I'm, I'm testing stuff. And it'll go much faster on the next one because I'll have the, I'll know what I'm doing in the way of carpet and flooring and ceiling. Okay, so let's get that grayed up.
Nice. I like this texture. It's kind of a concrete asphalt. I don't know. It's it's a multi-use texture. It, it goes on everything, I think. You can apply it to, to pretty much any type of uh, surface, except for stuff like windows and stuff that don't take textures, obviously. But, um, oh, I like it. I like it. It fits in with the with the whiteness of wind. Um, it's nice and bright now. What's our time like? So it's snowing out. Is it night or day? Oh, it's. I don't know one of the other planets anyway well guys i think we'll leave it here i'll continue doing all the texturing and getting all this done um because i forgot to make a whole bunch of deco i've got some consoles but i'm not going to have consoles up in my room so much i guess i can throw my bed up here real quick and then i can pass out with fatigue from all the work I've been doing. Do I want it in one of those corners? I think so. Right? Which way do I want to be facing? Do I want to be looking out there? Do I want to be looking out there? Or do, do I want to actually... Do I want to be like in the middle right here or like right there and then the sun comes up and blinds me sun going down behind me sure we'll put that in there for right now okay guys there, I've got I've got my own bed. I can sleep in my own bed tonight. That's awesome. And it's hailing. Look at that. I like it. I like it. It looks really crisp, doesn't it? It's clean. It looks really clean. So I don't want it too busy up here. I want it to feel spacious and airy. Nice. Nice. Oh, that all got textured, right? So I'm going to have to fix all that stuff. Well, let's go down. Whew. That's freaky. It's hailing. I'm going to start getting pelted with damage here any second. Or am I okay underneath the structure? Is that cut? Is that covering me? Whoa, jitters. Okay. So there we go. Oh, I left my freaking. Did I leave my SV up there? I did. Damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go, guys. I think we'll leave it here. Um, no, I got I to gotta, I gotta head back inside or else I'm going to get... Like, <laughs> right now, I'm going to start getting pale, pelted by hail. Okay, let's just go in the parking garage here for SVs, so... Oh, I still got some texturing. A bunch of texturing in here to finish off, too. Wow, okay. Painting and texturing. Oh, so much work to do. Holy crap. Well, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. The next episode, I should have my uh, bedroom done. Uh, I probably won't have the building underneath it done, though, because I really want to get the 
what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to build that access tunnel for the basement, uh, build out and get my, um, my wet generator room built so that I can actually access it without uh, getting hailed on and getting my ass bitten by creatures. So uh, next episode, we'll probably keep working on the spire, I think, trying to figure out a way to get that looking really cool and, and work start working on the the glass uh in, installation and all that so I'll, I'll whip up a whole bunch of glass panels it's probably going to take a few hundred of them to, to build it so we'll get that done um and then there's there's pretty much just making sure all the the texturing is all done and stuff like that so i've still got I still got hours and hours and hours of work just texturing and painting at this point and getting all my wood paneling up. Uh, there's a I'll show you that next time. I did a I did one of the hallways in the in the large section up top. Um, carried on the theme that I've been going with with the you know the wood panel theme with the timbers and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, this is uh, really coming along. Oh my God, this is, it's the biggest project I've ever done in a video game, that's for sure. Well, guys, you guys have yourself an awesome day. And until next time, take her easy.